Why are you do this? You're following me, I'm not following you. Following you are following me, stop it. Stop following me. Follow on me. Bitch, what? I've had a lot of people ask me how you get tier 2, tier 3 weapons and gear and rust. So I'm going to show you from naked spawn. Be sure to watch the whole thing. First of all, as you're running around, you want to make sure you collect everybody's corn. That shit is yours. Also, grab all that hemp and those random little nodes on the ground. Because we are naked spawn. So the first thing we're going to do is run monuments immediately naked. Oh boy, we gonna snatch that shit up. Look, you already got a tier 2 weapon from one monument. What are the odds of that? Very low. So you're gonna have to run lots of monuments. I just happened to get a semi off my second melee crate, which is insane. But you see the results right here. Boy, we got the semi. So we're going to continue our journey with the semi on our naked spawn. One life. This clip, um, these clips were taken from an hour and a half life that we went um and i'll like describe things throughout the video of what i did right and what i did wrong so what i did right was do airfield during the night time and then run dome immediately in the morning and while we were running dome there was no milli crates on it but there were the brown boxes meaning that the milli crates are probably coming up soon so i decided to wait once we got to the top We are collecting pretty much every barrel we see if we're in a safe place such as a monument that we know nobody is at like dome because we are trying to get as much scrap as possible to research these weapons that we are attempting to gather. And here we will wait. And wait. And wait, I was actually taking a shit right at this moment. It's fast forwarded, but yeah. And then the melee crates are here. Boom. Now we didn't really get much out of these four, but you saw we did get a semi out of the first two. So out of six melee crates, we got a ton of components, a ton of scrap, and a tier two rifle, which means at this point we should probably have a base built already to where we can go back and research this after and then go recycle you know what i mean and then come back and research this but for the video i decided to just see how far i could get by running monuments trying to gather key cards and then um right after this we're going to head to the outpost to get a blue key card because we do have a fuse and a green card already because we spawned in like next to a gas station which i killed myself until i spawned next to it so that i could get a green card immediately and then run a road all the way to a monument hoping that i get a fuse within a box which i did here at the dome now the paths that i take in between the monuments are away from the bases and if i do have to run anywhere close to a base that they could see me i am continuously watching it with my alt once we got to the outpost we collected pretty much everything in a perimeter around the safe zone and then we went inside and just so happened to find some rifle ammo for our our semi which is insane what are the odds what this that that what right there was genuinely from the video i was just astonished that we found some fucking ammo for this gun that we have not researched nor do we have ammo researched for it and as we were making our rounds throughout the outpost we came across a couple dudes that you're about to see so we finessed them for some low grade for our furnace but not on purpose can you give me something please boss anything i will take anything Please, boss. I need something. I'm very poor, man. I'm very, very, very poor, man. What's up? What's up? Follow me. Do you have gift for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do, actually. 
I'm a very, very poor... Oh, yes, you have no idea how much these help me, boss. Your friend going to buy lots of clothes? I hope he have very good time with the clothes. So I'm using a fake voice, obviously, because some people recognize my voice in the game. And just be sure you're nice to people who give you things. Just enough for a furnace. Goodbye, thank you, my friends. So at this point, I should have gathered some stone, right? Went and made a starter base. You know, but nah. I decided I was going to go to water treatment with all of this loot that I gathered. Because I'm a cocky bastard. Alright, yeah, so there's a guy over there. Let's just wait here for him. Two of them. Let's just see what they do in here. Oh, there's a naked right there. Doesn't look like he's fully naked. I think he's with them. Oh, well, they're boosting themselves in there? I could try to take them out right now, but there's fucking three of them. So at this point, I was like, well, there's three people in there. They were fighting somebody. I'm just gonna gather these crates on top of the silos, right? And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let the rest of the video explain itself, and I'll catch you guys after the, these couple clips are over. Cute dramatic effects. And tis the life of rust. Why you must build a starter base once you obtain a goal. 
that you wanted to achieve. In this case, I wanted a semi, I got a semi. I wanted jackhammers and blue cards, I got them. But still, I decided to keep going without building a starter fucking base. So yeah, just keep that in mind while you're out doing these runs. Um, you don't necessarily have to spawn naked. The only reason I did that was because I didn't have any green cards. So uh, if you're trying to get a green card and you don't live near some place that like has green cards like Oxum's or um, the abandoned supermarket, then I would just kill myself until I um, spawn near it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe for more content to come in the future. Let me know what you think about these little gameplay slash tutorial series. I have plenty of them that I could do in the future, although some of them might take some time to accomplish. But yeah, if you have any uh, request, please leave a comment down below of things that you would like to see in the future. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.